on we've got an unfortunate account here to kind of feature courtesy of deadline regarding legendary dj paul oakenfeld who's been accused um of sexual harassment by an ex-personal assistant i don't know what it is about djings i don't know what it is about that scene in general where a lot of these accusations seem to kind of stem from i'm it, i know it's probably not just specific to djs but there must be something about nightlife something about people adults in that kind of scene in a you know you know somewhat uh, so people would maybe describe a cd i don't think so but there's probably something about that sort of industry overall um where it may be unfortunately as much as i love it it maybe is a kind of breeding ground for this type of shit because people are somewhat inebriated and shit it's late at night um there's a lot of kind of weird um idol complexes and hero worship when it comes to teachers and artists and whatnot and they sort of like walk on water around certain people and are allowed to kind of get away with murder so all that sort of stuff maybe creates a very toxic environment where a lot of this sort of stuff is rampant because this is not the first and not the last we're going to hear about these sort of things but funny enough actually oddly enough paul ogerford has actually a replied you don't see that happening too often he's actually fired back and kind of said that you know this didn't happen but we're going to read the whole article this is courtesy of deadline it says that a-lister dj and swordfish soundtrack swordfish soundtrack composer paul oakenfeld has been accused of sexual harassment and workplace violation by a former personal assistant the lawsuit filed on friday in la superior court by an individual identified only as jane Rowe, a 24 year old woman the plaintiff alleges that the two comp the two that two companies run by ceo paul stapanek um new frequency management and stapanek management oakenfeld and various john does violated her employment rights seeking a variety of damages in excess of twenty five thousand dollars the five claim complainant um declares that shortly after taking a job in october 2022 this is quite recent the management companies she was assigned to be um oakenfeld's personal assistant for 20 pound an hour um jane Rowe worked out of the home of the grammy nominated dj who has remixed such artists as u2 madonna britney spears and rolling stones um hi the article here let's continue starting on jane rose first day for a total of four separate dates okafeld allegedly exposed himself <laughs> holy shit this guy's a psycho exposed himself and masturbated in front of her on one day in november 2022 the dj allegedly did so four times in a single day yo i don't think i jack off four times in a single day by myself let alone in front of somebody he also allegedly once performed the act in her vehicle, according to the filing. After reporting the incident to management, the plaintiff said that she was presented with a non-disclosure <laughs> agreement. Imagine the fucking cheek on somebody. Imagine the absolute cheek of someone to get out their little winker and wank in front of you when you don't want them to do that. You profusely tell them to stop. They continue to do so. You clearly tell them you're upset, that you don't want it to happen ever again. You're annoyed. You're pissed off. You're frustrated. You're shaking. And then they have the fucking gumption to pull out an NDA. <laughs> it's like, what? How about saying sorry? And how about fucking leave me alone, right? How about that first? Um, she was allegedly prevented from returning to work when she did not sign it and was allegedly threatened with a firing. The filing from Beverly Hills firm Blackstone Law APC says that Jane Rowe eventually signed the NDA under duress. She was allowed to return to work and was not assigned to her Oakenfeld. So they moved her around like they moved fucking priests in the fucking Catholic church when they get done for fucking kiddie diddling. That is horrendous, man, honestly. Electronic music has a lot of inventory. The electronic music industry so has a lot of fucking personal inventory it needs to kind of do over the years because this is wild. However, the plaintiff claimed that her hours were reduced and she was eventually laid off in March 2023 for what the court papers called a lack of work. Deadline has reached out to the Paul Stapnik and Paul for comment. So that's what she alleges, right? She alleges that he masturbated in front of her, um, what is it, more than four times. How many times he did this? She, or for a total of four separate dates. And one time he did it four times. So it does the number four. Four, four, four. That's how fucking Oakenfeld fucking rocks, isn't it? Four to the four, 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 wall to the wall, four to the four. Like, this guy is a fucking madman. But... According to Paul Oakenfeld, because, you know, you're innocent until proven guilty, he has released a statement via his Instagram account, profusely denying it. Here's what he said. 
I want to address recent allegations of sexual harassment made against me. Let me be absolutely clear. I categorically deny any and all crimes of improper conduct, respect, integrity, consent of values I hold dear, and I have always treated everyone in my utmost professionalism. I thought he was about to say, I have a mum, I have a daughter, I have a sister. <laughs> my favourite artist is Madonna. I love women. I would never do this. And let's continue. It is disheartening to see these baseless accusations, which appear to be nothing more than a calculated attempt to tarnish my reputation and to extort money. I'm committed to fully cooperating with any investigations to clear my name and will exhaust all legal remedies available, including your option to counter sue. He's coming out firing to protect my reputation and seek justice. Thank you for all your unwavering support and understanding during this challenging time. The funny thing about this, right, because this this is obviously kind of nasty and kind of, you know, involves, you know, some gross acts and kind of reminds you a little bit of like, you know, other occasions that this stuff has happened, you know, specifically the Louis C.K. stuff. The interesting thing about it is the fans. There's a lot of fans of Paul Oakenfold that are kind of like, you know, rallying around him and stuff and like saying, hey, we love you and shit in the comments. That's been an interesting thing to see it because... Even if I was a fan of Paul Oakenfell, which I'm not, don't really give a fuck about the guy, but if I was a fan, it would be something that would kind of take me aback and I have to make a decision, oh, am I going to separate the, you know, the the art from the artist? And if that's the case, I'll just kind of enjoy the music and kind of keep it moving. Or if it disgusts me, I'll just kind of drop him all together. But the last thing I'll be doing is sort of like weighing in with my opinions on it, like the validity of the claims and whatnot in the fucking comments and standing up for the guy. It's like... I th this is probably why e DJs have this crazy egos because the fans really, really suck them off like crazy. It's like, you don't know what's happened. You weren't there. The case is still ongoing. Like, just let it play out how it plays out and then say what you have to say. But the fucking sucking off on the comments, the fucking glazing here is absolutely wild. Look at this. Look at this, the first one here. We got... It isn't harassment because you wouldn't characterize it as such. I also like that you are willing to explore counter suing um, someone who almost definitely has less than you. It's a sugar great. It's honestly, this person, I'm not going to click your profile, but I'm assuming they have nothing to do with Paul Oakenfeld. They're just sucking him off and just like riding for him harder than he's even riding for himself in the fucking statement. He didn't even go as hard as they're going in a fucking comment. Anyway, continue. I also like that you're willing to explore countersuing someone who almost definitely has less than you. It's a super great way to show solidarity with your fellow basis accused superstar DJs while also sending a message to the other girls you jack it, you jack it in front of. So hold on, is he, is he kind of, is he trolling or is he actually supporting? I'm not too sure. Weirdo. Another one. Wow. Do they want you to kill the culture? Look what happened to her beloved Eric Murillo. I don't know. Again, that might be a troll. Another one says, played countless shows with you okay this is a fellow artist um over the past two decades and you've never been anything less than a true gent hope this is cleared up for you soon paul this is something you don't see often when someone gets accused if you really see women come out and like back somebody the only thing i could kind of think of is the lady that fucking did um girls when one of her friends or one of her fellow kind of colleagues in the industry, a writer or an actor, was accused of some, you know, some sexual harassment shit. I remember her, Lena Dunham, actually coming out and essentially, you know, victim blaming and victim shaming and she basically saying, yeah, I got my friends back. That bitch is lying. Fuck her. I can't think of many other times, like somebody within the same field, like a fellow, like a peer, especially a woman in that case would come out and say no nah, i'm supporting this guy he was always nice to me he never raped me so he kind of done it like i've never heard that so the fact that this woman is saying this which looks like a woman um i guess by the avatar in the picture is kind of wild another person here people have heard rumors about you or misconduct since 2001 okay it's never too late to look in woods and assume guilt do inner work and be better <laughs> i love how you have to assume guilt how about if you not done anything wrong assume guilt it's like what <laughs> but yeah okay cool this person's saying he's been a creep since 2001 imagine being a creep since 2001 that is wild i think i didn't even start djing then did i <laughs> this guy's been a creep longer than i've actually <laughs> been a dj <laughs> anyway continue read several articles i'm wary of the timelines on the day one the retaliation from your managers i don't buy it you're a bold person but i don't think you're a bold you're that bold or stupid to ruin your lifetime career in the blink of an eye like that why do people yo th this 
th- these guys are fighting for him way more than he's even fired for himself. This is insane. It sounds like an extortion operation given how accelerated the timelines are per the alleged incidents. Innocent until proven guilty. I believe you'll be exonerated. Make an example out of this, please. The industry depends on you too. This is... Has there been like a... I don't think there's been a slew of like baseless claims against DJs. I think these people, I don't know what they've been reading. Maybe I'm mistaken. If if when I clip this up, hopefully someone could tell me in the comments. Has there been like a slew of baseless claims against DJs for sexual harassment and rape and shit? I can't think of some. Um, Most of them have had some flipping weight and some sort of validity in flipping their accusations it's not just been some person looking for a fucking payday and how much of a payday are you really going to get out of fucking paul oakenfeld like let's be real do you know what i mean like <laughs> these guys are going to learn so she's like amelie lens i know she's fucking pop i know he's very really popular and legendary in his own right and does a lot of stuff outside of playing on stage and shit and blah 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 normies yeah yeah, yeah. but still it's paul oakenfeld let's be real Another person says, anyone that knows you personally, like I have, knows these allegations are absurd. I've seen nothing but professionalism and respect towards women from you. Over a decade of working together, this girl should end up in jail for extortion. Okay, maybe this person knows them, so that's fair. Another one says, so sorry it's happened to you. Anyone who knows you knows this is bullshit. Another one says, people that make false allegations should be held accountable. No one believes it, mate come to russia no sexual chasing only respecting <laughs> no what what does that even mean no sexual chasing so in russia what do you do you just like you just they just chop your dick off before you're about to start start a set or something <laughs> they give you one of those boxes with a padlock on it or we just stand there in fucking the military stance watching you fucking play um damn the me too folks out here trying to get oakenfeld too no, but never seen such an obscene shakedown oh my god good for you for making the direct statement about this yeah, um, another one. As a woman, we all have options to say no. If any person should feel unsafe, him or herself should not put themselves in that situation. Yo, there are some women out there who are like, say, if you got raped, you shouldn't have wore that short skirt. You should have walked across the park on the way home. Like, yo, I've always said this. This has always been one of my little like sayings, right? No one hates women more than other women. Yeah, the real no, no, sorry, that's not what my saying. I fucking forgot my own saying. That's a big L. The enemy of all women is other women, not men. That's my saying. It's fucking wordy and long, but the women of all women is not is not men. It's women. I said it wrong again there twice, but hey, doesn't matter. We move. <laughs> but yeah, this woman is fucking going crazy. We all have the option to say no, she says. If any person should feel unsafe, him or herself should not put themselves in situations. I find that when these types of things occur, the person to blame is the person that themselves there in the first place. This is probably someone trying to get the spotlight. It's definitely not going to be for long. I completely understand. Keep being yourself and stay strong. Don't waste energy in this nonsense. Keep creating. Keep living. Some people just have to nothing to do. Attorneys, some strive for baseless drama. Thank you for all your work and amazing music. Let's dance. Yo, insane, bro. In flipping insane. But yeah, Paul Oakenfeld said he didn't do it. The lady who got fired as a personal assistant said he did. The court case is, rum, rum, is rumbling on now. And I guess you have to wait and see what transpires and what the case is but this is a flipping wild situation and again feels like another situation in djing where for some reason some dudes i don't know i've never really understood that whole like public in front of somebody fucking masturbation thing anyway it's, it's a weird it's a weird kind of proclivity to have in the kink obviously i found out about it through the whole louis ck thing but I didn't even know that was a thing that people kind of got off on. Like having someone just stand there and watch you jack off is just bizarre to me. Um, you know, if you're not if you're not glock glocking, then what's the point? You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like what's going on here? But I think, you know, everyone's got their things that they kind of do. But can you just imagine how harrowing it must be to be a PR, a fucking PA, minding your business, photocopying shit making sure the guy's got his fucking passport, getting the coffees, and next thing you turn around, you got some fucking you know, some oompa loompa looking dude jacking off in front of you and shit for pleasure. And you're meant to kind of like, what are you meant to do? Do you know what I mean? That's a weird thing, that kind of dynamic, that kind of, I won't say power dynamic, but that sort of like authority, clout, influence dynamic thing is bizarre in that world too because he's somebody that looks looked up upon. You don't want to fucking, you know, have a bad reputation in the scene. 
You don't want to be looked upon as somebody that can't have fun or take themselves too seriously. I don't know. All these weapons are going to go into your head. It took you, you know, you worked really hard to get the job. You enjoy the job. You want to pursue a, a, you know, a career in the industry. You're kind of apprehensive about saying anything because it might fuck it up, which is fucking insane to say so. But I'm sure that's the case for some people. So I can't imagine what this person had to go through and how difficult it must have been to sort of navigate through that industry. But, you know, maybe... Maybe this court case will be an option for some respite. Maybe, maybe one can only hope.